There is a new AI code editor out there. It's called Pear AI. It's an open source VS Code extension. It's a fork of VS Code, just like Cursor and Windsor. And of course, it is backed by Y Combinator. This AI code editor has native integration of Klein and Ru code. It uses perplexity for search. For memory, it uses Mem0. If you're not aware of Mem0, it's actually a memory layer for your AI agents. It also uses Super Maven for prediction. This tool is completely open source. And in fact, you can access the source code on this GitHub repository. Before we start exploring more about this tool, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And now you can join our premium membership to support this channel. All right. So in terms of pricing, this tool has a free tier as well that allows you to use your own API key and bring your own large language model. You can use something like open router and you can use any free large language model from here. You can create an API key absolutely for free and then you can actually start using that inside this tool or you can buy the subscription $15 per month and we'll see in a minute that is it worth paying $15 per month for this tool or should you use cursor instead. But the main point of using this tool is it's free tier because it allows you to use your own large language model to bring your own API key. So, okay, so let's just download it and see how it works. To download this tool, you can simply just come to trypeer.ai, this website, and simply just click on this download button and it will just download this tool in .exe format and install. Simply just double click on this file and install this tool on your computer. Once it's installed, just go to, once it is installed, just look for it in your search bar and look for peer AI and just simply click on that and this is how this tool will open. So as I told you, this is a VS Code extension and the interface looks very similar to VS Code. Let's just click on open a new folder and create an empty next.js project. I have just created an empty next.js project and now we can see we can access our chat section over here and in here there is peer AI chat. Let's just give it a command and see how it works. So this is just chat option and then now there is this agent option as well. So just like cursor or windsurf, it does have an AI agent as well. There is search option which is powered by perplexity and of course there is the memory option as well so let's just use our agentic option create our dashboard of my project management tool keep the design simple and professional make it functional i should be able to create and add new projects i should be able to have a proper task management board all right so let's just press enter and see how it works so as soon as I press enter, so now it is sending an API request and now it's going to create a file package log.json. Okay, that's fine. I'll just click on approve. All right. So by the way, because actually it is using a uh, client as a, as a AI agent. So the interface is very similar to client, by the way, and you can see that the way the functionality is very similar to client. All right. So just run this command right now. So the functionality I see is very similar to client. It is actually changing this page.tsx file. Yeah, functionality is absolutely similar to client. So what they have done, they have basically like took the VS code, source code, and then integrated, like did the default integration of client and Roo code in that, then added the agentic functionality in that, then integrated perplexity in that, then added the memory functionality. So this like, just like you could use VS code as it is, with all of these different extensions. So now it is just like writing these different components. It has created this project card component. It has created this sidebar component, task board, team members. So all of these components it is now creating for our project, which is amazing. All right, so it has now created all of these different components. It has created team members, task board, sidebar, project card and model. And now we are running this project. I'll just open this on my local host. All right, so this is cool. This is what it has created. It has created this project board. I can add a new project. I can name it. I can create a new project. I can assign it to any of the team members. But of course, I mean, we need to create that functionality. I can see all of my projects and project dashboard. So yeah, I mean, in just like one prompt, it has just created a very basic project management. But yeah, that's not our main focus in this video. We just want to like test that how this tool performs. So this performs very similar to Klein. So, so far this task has cost $0.4, which is a bit expensive because let's suppose if you're working on a project and you are like giving thousands of commands, so it will cost you a lot. But yeah, I mean, if their subscription covers that, but we should not keep that in mind. I guide you that how you can actually use this project for free to use this tool. Absolutely 
absolutely for free what you can do you can simply just go to client just like we i have created separate videos about that you can simply just like click on client and then choose open router from here and then you can simply just create an api key on open router so this is open router just sign up for free you can use open router absolutely for free and after that you can simply just click on browse and find some best free ai models in here so simply just write free in filter so it will actually list all of the free models for you so the first one and the best one is actually gemini 2.0 pro so this one is, is actually gemini 2.0 flash with that has 1 million context and it costs you zero dollars for input tokens and zero dollars for output tokens because this is absolutely free to use so you can use either this one or you can use this gemini 2.0 pro experimental free so again this one has 2 million context which is amazing and then it has zero it costs zero dollars per input tokens and zero dollars per output tokens so this one is the fastest one so far you can simply just go to your api key in here you can create an api key and then you can simply just click on this create api key button create an api key use that api key in here in your open router and once you use that api key then you can simply just choose your llm from here you can simply just write gemini 2.0 you can just look for this gemini 2.0 free and simply just you can start using that so the functionality is very similar to klein so this is like they have built this VS Code fork replica of VS Code with their integrated integrated peer AI chat and then they have integrated of course perplexity in that they have integrated the memory so that actually makes it a bit more like cursor but the core functionality is VS Studio with client so that's not different from that okay so the big question should you use this tool for free yeah you should use this tool for free you can at least give it a try should you pay $15 for this tool no I don't think so because I still think Think cursor with the same price is far far better than this tool cursors agentic functionality is far better than this tool because this tool uses Klein. so Klein is a free open source ai agent but cursor is far better than Klein. so i still recommend you using cursor you can just like try this tool you can use a free api key from open router and use it absolutely for free but i will not recommend you like paying for this tool i mean this is just like my honest opinion just give it a try yourself and then let me know about what you think about this tool i'll see you next video bye bye